Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through how to customize and design the shopping cart system to fit inside of your theme. Uh, we get lots of questions here at Easy Cart how to change the color of buttons or how to add columns. Um, and a lot of people want to just customize and make this look right inside of your theme, which everybody has a different uh, look and feel that they're going for. So let's take a look at how to do some of these things. Uh, we can take a look at the easy point and click options. Uh, we're going to also take a look at how to even dive further and customize with CSS. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to add things to your main menus. Uh, as well as some cool hidden features you may not even know that EasyCart offers. So the first thing I like to do is you'll notice I have just a standard installation. Uh, the first thing I like to do is always take a look at my store page and decide if I want to have a sidebar which might hold menus, uh, a search, it might have some special products. I need to look at that and see if I want that on my design or if I need that extra space and room. And so that's very easy to do usually with a theme. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and edit this page. And you can see my store page just has my short code. Most themes let you select whether or not you want to have a sidebar. Um, they might have it up here in the templates area. Uh, you'll have to check with your theme company to see what they offer in terms of sidebars and placements of those sidebars. EasyCart doesn't have control of that and EasyCart just simply uses the content area on that page and you can see this is a no sidebar look. It gives me more space. Um, I really like to do the no sidebar look on the account and the cart page because they give you this extra width and space. If you start to throw in a sidebar on your shopping cart, uh, you basically have three columns and, and the cart actually gets very hard to look at uh, in most themes. So usually cart and account, I go with no sidebars. The store page, it's entirely up to you. Uh, and of course you can have more than one store page. I'll show you that later. So the next thing I like to look at is uh, my URLs. Uh, you'll notice if I roll over these and you can see in the bottom left the URL or if I click on one of my products these are URL variables. They're not very user friendly and what we want to do is be able to customize every page in EasyCart and we can't do that if we have URL variables so what I like to do is the first thing I do is go to settings and additional settings and I like to turn this feature on uh, use custom post type linking and I'm going to save this and the reason I like to do that is it creates SEO friendly URLs for all of your products. And so I go to my store and I'm going to refresh it and you'll notice the URLs now are actually nice friendly URLs using the name of the product. And this gives every page uh, a custom post type which means if I go back to the store I could have three columns on this page. I could have a four column layout on a different page. Um, and I can change things uh, page per page. So it's a great first step to do is always turn on that custom post type. So let's take a look now at the styling, uh, the designing of things. And the easiest way to go about designing is to use our sidebar and you'll notice if you're logged in and you're viewing a page especially the store page you can open up your sidebar and this gives you lots of different settings to change the look of EasyCart. 
For example, we have some pre-built product types. You'll notice that changes some of this area. And you can flip through those and see which one maybe fits best your look and feel. Okay, you can see some of these don't look right, so you might have to actually change columns. Okay. And they may not look right at all for any of the products. Uh, they're really designed for a specific uh, layout or set. There's a four column layout. I can change to five columns. I can also turn on dynamic image heights. Uh, that's going to automatically adjust the height of these or I can manually set them here and you can see they're cutting off my images. So I always like to have consistent images uh, and then I can turn on dynamic image heights and it automatically adjusts those heights. Um, there's a lot of different settings here. You can turn on the quick view. Uh, if you turn this feature on, you'll notice when you roll over, you get this quick view button that lets you quickly view things. Uh, you can turn that on and off. But the main thing people like to do really is change the color. So I'm going to go ahead and save what I've done here. And let's say we want to change the main color. Uh, I'm going to change it maybe to a shade of green. Okay, I'm going to save this. And the colors do require you to refresh your page. And you can see all of my theme colors have now changed for buttons. Makes a quick way to change the look of your entire store. If I go to the shopping cart, you can see it's all been changed. Okay, if I open up the sidebar in the shopping cart, you'll notice you don't have quite as many options. Same with the account. Okay, so uh, I like to deal mainly with the store page uh, when I'm designing. So quickly change colors. You do have a secondary color you can change to. You can see when I roll over this turns a gray. Um, this is not bad to have a neutral color and then make the main color uh, fit your theme of what you're looking at. There's also some other settings here such as hover effects. Um, you know you can see these kind of lighten and darken um, based on my rollover effect. Uh, you can have image flips. You can have all kinds of crossfades, brightenings, um, a lot of different settings on here that you can apply uh, to these. You're also able to open up and customize individual products Okay, so this lets you add a tag. Um, maybe this is a sale. You can change the tag color. And we'll go ahead and save this. But there's a, there's a lot of different settings you can change um, per product uh, as well. Okay. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is a tool that's probably not used all that often but if you come up here to the top of this it says show device preview. This is a great tool if you want to see what it looks like on tablets and phones. You can see on the tablet it's going to try to column, uh, spread this down to three columns. If I go to a tablet portrait it's going to go to a two column layout. And then if I even go down to a phone, you can see what that's going to look like in a nice uh, tiled view. So in the menus change, and, and of course you get a different look on a phone. And so it's nice to uh, kind of take a look at that. It's a, it's a really cool tool. Uh, it's right at the top of the admin uh, toolbar here and lets you adjust that. What I like to do once I've got my design uh, squared away with a couple clicks like this you can really make it look good in a theme uh, is I like to go ahead and set this as the default and that way if I have other pages or other category pages it's gonna go ahead and follow that same look um, in my system 
So that's the admin sidebar. A lot of these settings, uh, I should say most of them, are also found in your settings and design area. And in here you can change the two colors again. You can change columns, you can change uh, the type of grid you're using. Uh, most of those settings are also found in this location. So if you don't have or sometimes your theme has trouble showing that sidebar, um, you can come in here and also make those adjustments. Uh, we also allow you a quick way to invert colors. So not everybody has a white background and wants light text. Uh, sometimes people have really dark backgrounds and they want to invert the text and make the text white, um, which can be a lot of work. Uh, if you're trying to invert colors. So we give you a quick setting here uh, to choose what your background color is. Um, you can see of course we have a light background but if you have a dark background this is going to automatically invert all of your colors and if I come back here and I'll go ahead and refresh this you'll notice uh, especially if I go into a product a lot of things have disappeared they're actually just white, um, which looks great on a black background, but not on a white background. So that's what the invert colors do, and all of your settings here on the design panel. So let's take a look now at uh, also designing your menus. Uh, we get a lot of questions in terms of how do I add more store pages, for example. I have women's clothing, I might want a section for coats, I might want a section for t-shirts and pants. How do you do that? And the simple answer is categories. So if you open up your products and go to categories, this is where you group products together. You can see I've got several categories here, uh, new sales, specials, and what you do after creating a new category is you go ahead and just open it up and you're going to add products to it and this is specials I'm just going to go ahead and select a few products here and add them to my category and I'll go back to my categories and you can see specials now have five products so what if you want to have specials show up as a sub menu maybe coats t-shirts you might have different groupings so what we'll do is we use uh, WordPress menus I think that's the best way to go uh, I'm gonna jump over here to menus you can see this is my main menu showing my store account and my cart page you can obviously design them however you want but you'll notice on the left hand side you have store items and this lists everything in EasyCart from products to categories and I can come through here and I can find my specials and I'm gonna go ahead and add it and you can see now you can drag these around and put them as sub menus you can do whatever you want with these in terms of your design and it makes a great way now to uh, easily list just a few individual products now that you can see this is my specials group so that's that's another key design aspect people like to do is how do you how do you customize the menus okay. now let's say you want to get in more detail with design uh, maybe you want to uh, open up one of these products and you want uh, special code to apply to something. Um, a more advanced feature we offer is the ability to add uh, custom CSS. And so I'm going to go to settings and my design panel and custom CSS. Uh, if you're an HTML or web designer you, you probably want to do that and use it at some point. Uh, we like to use Chrome browser and we like to use the development tools um, because it makes a very easy identify, identify, uh, identification method to grab something and what I mean is let's say we have this element here uh, this 
quantity box um, and maybe we don't want it there so what I do with Google Chrome is I hit control shift C and that opens up the developer console and I'll just move it down here out of the way you'll notice as I'm scrolling over things it's highlighting them and I can easily just click on an item and in the console it takes me right to that in the code and what this does is let you quickly identify the classes uh, if you're familiar with CSS everything has a class labeled to it and all of our easy cart styles have EC underscore prefixes which make them very easy to identify and it makes them unique so if you look at this quantity section it's called EC underscore details underscore quantity there's not going to be any other plugins or conflicts and so I can easily take that style and I can apply it to my custom CSS area so I'll just paste this and maybe I want to display none and if you need to look up how to do CSS that's certainly something for Google um, but this should hide our quantity box and so you can see now if I just refreshed our quantity box is hidden uh, just because of the style sheet and so if you want to quickly identify and add your own custom CSS rules you can do that again I just hit control shift C and it turns on my clicker and I can click on an item any HTML item and it quickly goes to that section and I can identify the class that's attached to it and then I could apply my own custom CSS. So EasyCart has some very simple tools starting with colors and columns. We have some medium tools to let you design with such as add your own custom CSS. And then we have some advanced tools which allow you to actually get into a design themed child layout system it lets you create custom layout files and still be able to update EasyCart through your plugins without losing any of your changes when you create these custom layout files and there's help for this in our help documentation and it's a little more than we can do on a video tutorial but a lot of people want to go to the next level and really customize EasyCart um, and you can do that so again hopefully this video has been helpful um, it showed you how to uh, use our sidebar on our uh, front end we have the design settings in our settings area and we have custom CSS and then we have a step up which is our design template system so Lots of options for the designer out there looking to customize and really integrate EasyCart into their theme. Thank you, and we hope you watch again.